guys, welcome back to Satisfactory Schematics and Blueprints, episode 12. And today we're talking about the rotor. Now, this is the point when uh, it's, it, it's getting more and more difficult to use the blueprint as a single click to drop things down. Um, what you're looking at in front of you is um, enough production to ensure that the assembler at the top is outputting at 100%. But we are overproducing in a couple of uh, areas. And honestly, to try to fit this entire thing into that 4x4x4-ish grid um, is going to be very difficult. Um, I mean, I probably could shove all of this or most of this into it, but it wouldn't look pretty. And to be honest, I just don't want to do it. Um, but what we can do is we can start using the blueprints as the building blocks to set this down faster. We don't have to set all of this up by hand. Uh, every single time. But it is, now that it's getting um, more and more complicated, and, and trust me, things get way more complicated than this really fast now. Um, it is time to start uh, planning your, your moves out a little bit more. On the left-hand side, you're actually looking at my plans for what, what you actually saw in front of you. Uh, two iron smelters, uh, the first iron smelter goes into two iron rod constructors, which go into three screw constructors, and then into the rotor. And then the second iron smelter over on the left goes into two iron rod constructors, which goes into the rotor. But the problem with that is um, we've got 30 ore coming in, uh, splitting into 15 and 15, which gives us 30 rods out. Um, which is what we need for the screws, 30 rods in. But that gives us 40 screws out each for a total of 120, which is 20 more than we need in the rotors. And the same thing happens on the iron rod side. Uh, we've got thir uh, 15 and 15 going in, which means 15 and 15 or 30 coming out, and we only need 20 going in. So what you see on the right-hand side of your screen is the math to make it work um, so that everything is producing at 100%. You're not overproducing for anything. And in the end, you actually get 24 rotors per minute coming out. And that sounds like a bit of a daunting task, but if you use the, um, the blueprints correctly, it's actually not as hard as, as it sounds. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've built blueprints for construction blocks, basically. So um, according to my calculations, <clears throat> and I'm going to go um, right to left here, um, the first thing we need are 10 iron rod uh, blocks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my uh, four block iron rod and I'm just going to set that down there. And then I'm going to put another one down. The, the, oh, hello. That's interesting. That, it seemed to... Look at that. That's really nice. It actually... Uh, it actually lined up and snapped. That's actually quite nice. And then I'm going to choose my two block for the last one. Look at that. That's actually quite nice. So, um, now the only thing uh, wrong with what we've got here, and to be honest, it isn't really uh, too much of a problem. You'll notice on this one, 
for our smelters, um, we put um, we put two smelters into, or sorry, one smelter into two um, constructors, and and it's just a, an enclosed unit. Both of them are enclosed units, but we need a hundred and fifty um, iron ingots coming in here. Nothing says uh, actually that we have to do it that way. Um, what we can do is we can put down our smelter and we can actually put down five smelters in a row. Because, and to be honest, we could have built a blueprint for this too. I just didn't. In fact, once this, uh, once I'm done recording this, I'm actually going to go away and I'm going to build one of these. Um, but it's easy enough to build this. And remember, um, as long as whatever conveyor you're using can hold more than 150 per minute, then you don't have a problem. So you just take and feed that into there. And then all you have to do is connect up the two connection spots and connect up your power to the power in and then, then daisy chain those. And then put our splitters, uh, not splitters, <laughs> almost got that wrong again, put our mergers on, because we're merging, and there you go, that Oh, um, and then you obviously you have to connect up the opposite side too. So now that's going to be making 150 rod, iron rods per minute for us. And what did that take us? A minute to do that? Um, now, next, <laughs> this one's going to be fun. Now we need 15 screws production. So we pull out our blueprint and I only made a four block of screws. That's the only thing I made. The hardest problem I have is seeing around uh, the things, my hands basically. So that's eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's actually 16 there, but we can just take off the last one. And then Hooking up our electricity is as simple as this. Oop, wrong one. You just have to make sure you get the right one. And that's it. That's all of your electricity. And that's your conveyor belts. Now, this one, this one is actually uh, going to be pushing the limit. Uh, if, in order to do this one like this, you kind of need, because it's it, you're getting 600 screws per minute. 
on this line. And if we take a look at our uh, logistics, only the Mark V conveyor belt is going to do 600 screws per minute. So if you want to do this one like this, you need Mark V conveyor belts. But so now we've got five smelters feeding 10 iron rods, feeding 15 screws, and then that is going to feed six assemblers for rotors. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> so we put six assemblers down, and I'm going to put that, to be honest, I'm going to put that way back here. Interesting, this doesn't snap uh, like the uh, like the blueprints do. I like that snap feature. Like I really like that snap feature. It makes things a lot easier. Now I probably don't need to to put it quite that far back, but I do have to now put eight more iron rod um, and I ran out of electricity. I do have to put eight more iron rod uh, blocks in here now. So what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to put it on the same line as the first iron rods and I'm just going to pull it around the, the side there. So if I pull up four block of iron rods and I put it on that line there well, that's interesting it will let me set this on top that that opens a bunch of new possibilities guys now um, in order to feed this eight we need uh, 120 iron uh, ore, or well, 120 iron ore making 120 iron ingots coming in, which means uh, six. Yeah. I've got something wrong here. 10 is 5. No, it's only 4. I only need 4 of these. 1, 2, 3. Oh. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah. So, I only need 4 um, smelters for this. So, I'll put the smelters uh, kind of on the other side. I'm, these are all of the videos that I've made. They're all still sitting here. Look at that mess. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we'll put one, two, three, four, and I gotta connect those up too, don't I? Uh, I can take the electricity from there. And then... And then all of that, that's going to bring uh, eight production worth of 
iron rods down to this end. And we're going to bring all of that out here. And we're going to bring all of this Now, um, there's a number of ways to do this now. What I'm going to do, oops, all right. I'm going to put this up to, I'm hoping that this will, uh, actually, no, you know what? I'm not putting it up to three high. I'm putting it up to two high. And then this one, I'm just going to run it along here, but you can run yours uh, closer. I'm just doing this for, uh, for ease of getting this done. And I ran out of electricity again. Well, I need to pull electricity up here anyway, so... And as always with electricity, I always like to put, oh, I got that one wrong, see? Yeah, the clipping doesn't work the same unless you're, uh, I got that one wrong too. My OCD is uh, kind of going nuts here right now. And all we have to do now is connect these up. And we'll put our splitters. One. And, um, I mean, I could blueprint this part, but to be honest, I don't know that I see the point. Um, unless, well, yeah, actually, maybe, yeah. If, uh, if we're going to use rotors in, and I think we are actually, if we're going to use rotors in a more complicated, uh, factory, then yeah, um, it is worthwhile to, uh, to blueprint the rotors. Uh, this part of the rotors is what I'm talking about. And obviously we can pull that back um, and make it slightly more uh, compact. So that is what it takes. So from, from right there, all of this, all of this, and that, that's what it takes to make a 100% efficient production line all the way to the end. And that's giving us 26 rotors per minute. And we did that in, uh, what, five, 10 minutes, something like that. Uh, yeah, this video has been uh, 19 minutes start to finish. So about 10-ish uh, minutes to get all of that done and working. That's the power of blueprints. So, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. Uh, if you did, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Um, if you know anyone who would appreciate this content, put us out there. Um, it would be great to get uh, more viewers, more people asking questions. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. There's uh, another video right above me for you to watch if you want to. Uh, there's a playlist up at the top of all of these videos. And then there's another playlist over there somewhere. So watch them all, do it all. Thanks for coming out, guys. See you next time.